Good afternoon, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, I got a couple cool things I wanted to show you. A um, couple uh, items that a friend of mine and his father made. Steve, uh, he made some of this tender torch um, fire starting product. And I want to kind of go over that with you. And then, uh, of course, Alex made this really cool little miniature rocket stove. So I'm going to try to make a cup of coffee with both of them, see what happens. Um, let me set you down here and I'll see if I can uh, get things started. So I like to put a piece of your uh, product in the lid. It gives it a little uh, backboard to uh, grab a spark. There we go. See if we get that going there. Steve, what a great product. I mean, this stuff, it lights, stays lit. Um, I don't know what you've done here, but it's, it's pretty special. Um, I think I mentioned it, but I burned a piece of that, just a tiny little piece, maybe, maybe that much, and it burned for three minutes straight. Uh, good stuff. Now I've already kind of preloaded the stove here, Alex. And uh, I really like it. Um, I tried this last night and I got it going. I figured out a few things, little tips. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And I'll tell you a little secret about it. So the best thing to do is to actually light this and get it going like this. And once you have a, a nice good coal base, and I did learn this last night, is not to rush this. Get it going, get it nice and hot, and get a nice coal base. Um, because you want to get the, the air flowing through across the flame and right up, right up the, the stack. If you don't have a good coal base and it's not good and hot, uh, you can snuff out your fire. And I've done that. So this is a good tip. Rock it like this. Rock it your rocket stove like this and get a nice coal base. So I'm going to do that here for a minute and I'll come back to you. Oops. Okay, it's starting to really start to flame up. <clears throat> Look at that, nice flame. So, get right to it here. I've got a little, little uh, coffee maker. I don't know if you notice my finger, guys, but uh, I cut my finger. Um, yeah, setting up for this video. I cut my finger pretty good on my ax. I think I'm gonna be all right. But uh, it wasn't pretty. So I'm going to put this coffee on here. Get it nice and tight. And let her cook. All right. Here it comes. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it. knocking it over can you hear it oh, I can smell it very nice I can smell it, it smells so good there it is Fresh brewed espresso. Alex, Steve, sorry for taking so long to get this done. It's awesome. I 
I don't know if I would do anything different at all. Um, keep experimenting. Um, I did notice that you want, you want to slice yourself two little thin pieces of wood to put in your hands as like a mitt in case you want to move this thing around a little bit because it gets hot. <laughs> so that's really the only, the only thing I can think of that would be um, a recommendation for anybody using one. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and uh, I hope everybody has a great week. It's going to be a short week uh, as far as work is concerned for most. It's uh, Thanksgiving, and I hope everybody's going to spend good time with their family. Um, everybody take care and be safe, and uh, have a great week. Signing out.